Have you heard that smoked salmon causes cancer? Or have you heard that living under power lines causes cancer? Have you heard that talking too much on your cell phone causes cancer? Maybe you've heard all of these things, but without rigorous study and analyses, these are just headlines. In reality, there are some things that we know cause cancer, and these are your risk factors. But how do we obtain risk factors? How do we know which things are real and which things are just there to get your attention? Today, when researchers want to ask questions about potential risk factors, when they want to sort through the claims and headlines, they have to do work within self-generated data sets, surveys, and observational studies. They often have to pursue the respondents to these studies themselves, and they can only ask a very limited number of questions. What does this do? It leaves us with large confounding factors that may skew the results. Further, because of this limitation, many undiscovered or less obvious risk factors remain hidden. Even large data, such as the Surveillance Epidemiology and End Result, or SEER program, of the National Cancer Institute, acquire their data by accumulating large numbers of results through this same model. With a limited number of approved research studies able to access this data, we end up with another problem of access. Therefore, doing this work, finding the new risk factors, is both time-consuming and exclusive. We believe there is a better way. Social media has reached a critical mass. Facebook has more than 1.5 billion active users. Google Plus has 500 million active users. LinkedIn has 380 million users. We want to invite the public to donate their information in a way that's reliable, cheaper, and comprehensive. We call this philanthropic data sharing. We are presenting a social app called My Risk Factor. We leverage the power of social media to drive people to share their historical data and demographics. In exchange, we'll be giving them bragging rights, risk factor, and screen alerts. Users will be able to share as little or as much information as they want, and scientists can access the anonymized data open and freely. We can have a long-lasting source of open access data for cancer research propelling us into the, uh, an age of new cures. Think about how much data people already share on the internet. Think about if you could use your time and data for a good reason. Would you donate your information to save lives?